everyone welcome back to another video of salesforce makes sense this is imanshu and we'll continue trying use cases to understand apex through our salesforce developer masterclass yeah so this is use case 7 and it's pretty straightforward so because it is pretty straightforward we are going to do two use cases in one video yeah so the use case 7 write a method that allows you to split the bill amongst your friends right so it's a very very clean very easy to do method so go ahead pause the video here and try it out yourself okay for those of you who want to follow me let's go ahead and create our new apex class so i'll call it apex use case 7 and i'll simply create a method here that would be called split bill yeah so what is split bill going to do it is going to give the share per person right so this should be a decimal return type correct so this will give the split per person what is the split per person the split per person will is going to be a decimal value right and this is basically nothing but it is going to be the ex exact value that everyone is supposed to pay right so what is the what are, what are the things we need in order to be able to calculate the split just two parameters first is the number of people so that will always be an integer right you cannot have half person you can you'll either have one or zero yeah and the second thing is the bill which is the total bill amount so i'll just call it bill amount yeah what do we need to do we basically need to simply say split per person is equal to bill amount by the number of people yeah as simple as that and this should give us the split per person that is what we are going to return here yeah what is a good thing we can do we can simply put a check if bill amount is not equal to null and number of people are greater than zero only then go ahead and do this or else don't yeah or else simply return zero that's it yeah so this looks fine very straightforward let's try to deploy it to our org let's see if this gets deployed or not first of all deploy it fine yeah so now let's take a look at this particular method in our developer console and try to execute it so i'll just refresh and i'll say apex use case 7 this is my apex class and let's try to execute it let's get rid of everything that was previously done apex use case 7 dot split bill yeah so let's say the bill is 1500 rupees and the total number of people involved are three or let's say four yeah i'll just go ahead and say system dot debug and i'll say open log let's execute and see what is the split per person yeah if you notice this is 375 right as simple as that it was not fancy it was not big and you must be thinking like imanshu why is this even a use case yeah i understand but but some super easy ones have also been added here so you'll see a mix right some advanced ones will also be there and some easy ones will also be there but since this was an easy one and i hope and i believe you were able to figure it out yourself let's go ahead and look at one more use case in the same video yeah so use case number eight write a method that checks if a number is divisible by 7 and 11 both yeah so this use case is where you'll put in a number as the method input and then that method should tell you whether this number is divisible by 7 and 11 yeah i'll go ahead and create my new apex class i'll call it apex use case 8 and i'll just create another method here public static and I simply want to return true or false if it is divisible or not by sev and lf. Yeah. And what am I going to pass here? I'm going to pass a number here. Okay. I'll pass an integer number here and I'll say number to check. Yeah. What do I need to do? I simply need to check whether this number to check value is divisible by. seven and eleven both if it is i'm going to return true if it is not i'm going to return false as simple as that because my return type is boolean right now how do i check whether a number is divisible you have something that's called a mod sign yeah so if you do something like 30 mod 3 
this will if this returns 0 that means it is divisible if it returns a non zero number it means it is not divisible okay so what will I do I'll simply say if number to check is not equal to null and if number to check mod 7 is double equal to 0 yeah I'll just remove the caps here is equal to equal to 0 and number to check mod 11 modulo 11 is equal to equal to 0 this means that it is divisible by both 7 and 11 as simple as that yeah this is how we normally write it in our mathematics if I try to deploy this right here So this fails and it tells you that I found a punctuation symbol or operator mod that is not valid in Apex. Yeah, so this is how we write it in mathematics and this is how we do it in, you know, our notebooks when we are actually practicing any kind of maths, maths work, right? But Salesforce does not understand it, right? So let's go ahead and understand how to actually put mod. So what is mod? Mod is basically nothing but a math symbol. Yeah, right. It is called modulo. So I'll simply type modulo operator in apex. Yeah. Or I can also type how to check if divisible by seven. That will also give you the, uh, the answer that we are looking for. Right. What is the first thing we want to look at? We want to look at the math class. Right. Let's not go to stack exchange. Let's directly jump into the documentation first. Understand if you are able to figure out or else let, let's take a look at any example from any blog. We'll go to the math methods and here I'll simply search for my modulo symbol. Is that available? No. If I type modulo, is that available? No. What about modulus? That's also not available. What about mod? If I type mod, you see that there's one method that's called mod. What is this method? This method returns the remainder of integer value 1 when divided by integer value 2. And that's exactly what our modulo symbol also does. And to write that same thing, there's a math class with, an func with a method available, which is math.mod. Okay, so what are we going to do? We are basically going to use that same math class here. So instead of writing it like this, I'll just rephrase it from math symbol to Salesforce understandable thing. So I'll say number to check would be the first variable and the second variable would be 7. If this is equal to equal to 0 and math.mod number to check comma 11 is also equal to equal to 0 I can basically say that return true save and what we wrote previously in terms of mathematics is now very much understandable to Salesforce if I go ahead and try to deploy this here this is deployed fine and if I now go to Salesforce and I try to refresh my page here I'll search for Apex use case 8. This one right here. And I'll simply call it out from my debug log, from my anonymous window, not debug log. Right? Let's try a number that is not based, not divisible. So let's try 33 and I say execute. So this should ideally return you false. Okay, let's say debug only, it says false. And if I go back here and I type something like 77, it should now say true. All right, let's take a look at the new debug and let's say debug only, and that's true. And our use case, our very simple use case is working fine. It's just that we got to understand, ah, okay, it, it might not work writing math symbols directly. We might have to look at the math class. Similarly, you have the date class that we discussed, you'll have string class, You'll have all these classes available and they will come with certain methods. So every time you see a very simple use case, try to find out which method do you have to use and that will solve your problem. Okay, and on that note, let's close this particular video with two cases done. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.